so we are in Europe for one week. Um, one of my lectures is it's more like a vacation versus an actual study abroad, but I'm excited. This is my first time going to Europe, so I'm really looking forward to it. But you guys can guess in the comments down below where you think I'm going. And remember to give this video a thumbs up, send to a friend, like, share, comment, and let's go to Europe. doing a quick airport fit this is what we're wearing today but I am late this is so bad because I have like seven minutes or eight to reach my gate and then I got Starbucks y'all I stress environment but I think I'm here so yeah I'm boarding now Hello! Oh, wait. connection in Paris was so crazy but I'll give you guys that story time maybe when I get to the hotel we're heading to baggage claim to get our luggage and then take a train to the hotel so let's go Ooh. I'm in Roma we are at baggage claim <laughs> Yeah, there's a 
protests in Rome. We made it, y'all. Woo, finally. Okay guys, so I finally made it to Rome. I'm currently in Rome. Love that for me. Um, we just checked into our hotel. It's called the... What's this called? The Best Western Universal. Um, for this part of the trip, I'll be rooming alone. So for this part of the trip, I'll be in Rome in Rome by myself in Rome and then for the other two cities that we'll be visiting I'll be sharing a room with somebody else and I'm so grateful that I actually chose to room by myself for this first day because honestly when I got to Paris it was real chaotic for me so let's talk about that I'll give you guys a room tour and then I'll head to start getting ready because we do have to meet in the lobby at 3.30 p.m. because we are going to the Vatican Museum and Sistine Chapel for 4.30. So it's about after two now. So let's give you the tea. We landed in Paris. <clears throat> um, it was a really good flight. Delta did what they needed to do. The staff were really nice and we made it to Paris safely. Thank God. And then when we got to Paris, um, my lecturer and her husband is on the trip and you know they're the lead, they were in first class so they got off. So you know they checked the flight which gate and terminal and stuff were supposed to go and then they told us but like the understanding that i was getting because i'm basically traveling with a group says that like, my mind ended up on my body so I'm, i wasn't really like thinking about stuff properly but it told us like based on what i was getting i was thinking that we weren't going to go to customs or whatever immigration but i'm saying this is the first point that we got into the country so i think we'll need to do that but long story short um we made our way to the terminal we got to the terminal and then we realized we had to go to airport security as i said they had like priority pass so they got through security really quickly the other of us were in the line and then i realized how inefficient it was because like one of the ladies she was like telling everybody to take stuff out of their bags and they had to show like all their toiletries and stuff that they had in there like carry on <laughs> so it was like i'm not going to that lady so there's this black dude he was on the opposite side so i went there and you know i had to do the airport check i had to like go in my bag take out my laptop and stuff so i got to pull up my bag a bit and then i put those back together i didn't realize that i was still in it to go to immigration okay we got there then i realized they had a different line for persons who had a u.s passport i think if you had like u.s passport canadian or i think uk you could go in that line <clears throat> so they sent because most of the persons traveling with us they are american citizens so they went in that line but then um some of the other one came in the line that i was told to go in but i'm like they said persons who have a u.s citizen um, passport can go in that line and they went back and double check and the guy was like no stay in this line which was kind of confusing because they had two persons giving two different directions Anyways, I was in the line with some of them. We were in the line together and I realized it was really cutting close. I should have told you guys this before. We had a really like short layover. So we knew beforehand that it would have been very hectic to get to the gate. So we were trying to move with purpose and stuff like that. Anyways, <clears throat> we were in the line waiting. I realized time we're going. Some of them got to the gate already and we were still stuck in the line. So I saw a group of people at the front of the line and you know we cleared security and stuff before them so i said to the gentleman we have a flight to catch as well so he put us in the next line but we still had to wait so we were like we are all going to go to the counter together since we're traveling together and then when we got up he was like no you can't do that so he caught so i went up first and then um let me show you so i have my passport in these stuff but like usually when i'm going in these but usually when i'm going through security i usually take it out of my um <coughs> my case so i took out my passport and i had my passport in this right 
and then he was like take off the cover so as I said, we were already running out of time, so I was there and I was flustering. So it's like, are you going to take my passport out? And he's like, take your time, take your time. So I did it, I gave it to him. At this point, everything was like over the place. And then he was asking me where I'm heading. So I'm like, I'm going to Rome. And he's like, what will you be doing in Rome? So I'm like, you know, I'm on a study abroad trip with my school and we'll be exploring certain places. And then he was like, um, do you have your return ticket to Jamaica? So I'm like, I'm not going back to Jamaica. I'm going to the US because I'm there studying. And then he was like, can I see your flight to the US? So at this point, because at first, as I told you guys, I wasn't thinking we were going to go through all of this. I never had like my documents and stuff in my hand. So it was still in my bag and I had printed this stuff before because honestly, they told you like having a visa to go somewhere does not guarantee you direct entry into that country. It really is up to the person at the border to whether they're going to give you acceptance or whatever. So I'm like, yeah, I have my flight. I didn't know if it was appropriate to show it on the phone. So I went in my bag and I took it out. I had to like dig up everything because my laptop and those documents were like at the bottom so at this point as i said we are rushing on uh so everything was pulled up so after he was like enjoy your trip whatever so i wanted the next person because so i pushed my stuff to the side and i grab up everything we were late and then i started running trying to run to the gate so we can get on the flight as I said, everything is now in my hand. Passport one side, passport cover one side, passport case, folder with my documents, everything in my hand and I'm there running. I had additional stuff. I had like the the belt bag, I had like my coat and stuff. And then when I got upstairs, I'm like, where's my passport? My passport was missing. At this point, I was like, yeah, I'm going to miss this flight now. So I had to turn back. When I was turning back, um, I saw some of the persons who were um, traveling with me. I'm like, well, I lost my passport, so I need to go and look for it. And at the same time, I saw this guy, I think he was like a security, and he had my passport in my hand, and he was like, oh, what's your name, whatever, and then he gave it to me. So that's how I ended up going back to the gates and made it to the flight. But like, the entire process was like so chaotic for me because I was flustering, you know, I had to like be rushing and I was like, oh my God, I can't do this. But thankfully I made it on the plane. I really wanted to use the bathroom. I went straight to the bathroom and they could tell that I was in distress. <laughs> They're like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. And then when I came out, they gave me some water. That was the flight attendants because we flew Air France from Paris to, to Rome. But yeah, that was a bit chaotic for me. And in the process, I also, like before I actually even get to the terminal, I realized that I lost my um, neck pillow. And it's not even mine. I'm a mother something. So now I'm going to buy about one. But that's a different story because it was on the backpack that i had and then when we were going on the air train to try to find the terminal i'm like is my thing is still there and they're like no we don't see it and i'm like yeah here we go but i'm here safely i don't want to blubber anymore because i do need to get ready so i'm just going to show you what the room look like and then i'll start getting ready because i think I don't have that much time and I need to shower. I've been traveling for over maybe 12 hours now. Yeah, I'm hungry. We have this nice mirror right and it's like when in Rome. <laughs> I have this TV and then you have the bed. It looks very spacious for one person. And then over this corner, <clears throat> you have like a chair and a lamp. And then this is what we're working with. They have like a mini bar and they have stuff in the fridge, but I think you have to pay for it. So, um, they have like a safe. And then it, it will do. Got a tree nights or whatever. This is the bathroom. <coughs> This is the shower. So 
So yeah, this is basically the room. Let me see if I can get my phone to charge <coughs> because they use a different plug, but I have the stuff that I brought with me, so I'm going to see if it works. Okay, so this is my first outfit in room. I'm just wearing like a silk skirt, white top, and a blazer. And we're headed to the Vatican. I have three minutes to reach downstairs, so I'm gonna leave out now. But yeah, I like it. Look at this, this is absolutely amazing, like breathtaking, <laughs> oh my god, so nice. Just made it back to the hotel. <sighs> Tired. I bought some McDonald's because I'm still hungry. I had um what do you call it? Pasta. But I'm still hungry, so I bought McDonald's and I'm going to finish watching um Love is Blind and then go to sleep exhausted been a long day as you guys probably know now it's i'm in italy and i didn't say this before when i was packing but like when i realized the suitcase i was going to take was made in italy i was like yeah this was meant to be so my luggage came intact man <laughs> my air tag is still there and it gave me updates like it was like oh it was last seen xyz so i'm happy that i have everything so i'm gonna get ready for today and i'll take you guys with me what i love about packing cubes is that i packed this one this is a very a big one the, i think this is the biggest one the largest one but i was able to pack my stuff based on the different cities that i'm going so this one is for when i'm in rome so everything i wanted to wear while i'm here in rome is in this one so yeah i'm gonna just pull out the stuff that i need <laughs> and then i can leave the other part of my suitcase intact yep hi guys good morning from the roma i love this for me but i'm gonna get breakfast because i'm starving i've been up since 4 a.m 4 30 and i tried to go back to bed but i just couldn't um so i hope i don't feel tired today but dealing with different time zones crazy but we're gonna get through this 
Okay, so this is breakfast. I'm all dressed and ready. We're heading to the Coliseum right now. I'm wearing this green two piece. I didn't get to give you guys like an outfit check, but I guess I'll do that once I'm back. I'm waiting for the elevator because I'm like five minutes behind, but ready down. I'm at the Coliseum. We are currently doing this tour. We um, did the Coliseum before and we have a tour guide. Yeah. yeah. I'm currently walking by the Coliseum and we're headed to lunch. We just had a tour of the Coliseum <laughs> and the Roman power. We have this nice setup for lunch. Call her This restaurant is large. <laughs> oh my gosh guys we are at the Jervis Fountain but there are so many people it's crazy <laughs> literally we'll have to come here in the morning this is the Spanish steps um, we had a really long day touring but yeah and they have some luxury shops right here we have Dior I think I saw Balencia and we have Prada but yeah we're in Rome today was honestly such a long day but it was really fun uh, we did a couple tours we did the Coliseum we did the Roman Foran we went to at the Pantheon we went to Trevi but honestly I've been having a tour guide so I haven't been like vlogging much or whatever and it's been raining on and off like now it's really wet and stuff but it was a really good day um, yeah and we had a lunch oh my god guys three course we had appetizer then we got first first we got like two different pastas then we had I had wine, I had tiramisu, and then I had like an espresso. So like I'm still full and it's like after five now and we did a lot of walking after. We've been walking in the rain up and down but it's been a really good day. So uh, we might go and get drinks. So I'll probably take it and then go back to the hotel because we want to go back to the Trevi in the morning to get pictures when it's not so crowded. And top recommendation, if you guys are coming to Rome, Italy, ensure that you book your tours in advance because it's so busy, so many people. And if you don't have tickets booked, you'll have to wait long in line. And there are so many people here, like, are people like everybody's on vacation at this time i don't know imagine the summer that's crazy but yeah it's been good so far a lot of steps in the last time i checked i was at 8,000, probably over 10,000 now but yeah we're in the luxury district we have louis we have ysl one please hi guys good morning so it's like after six now and i'm about to head to the trevi and this is what i'm wearing um we went there yesterday briefly but like i didn't get good pictures so i'm going again and trying to beat the crowd this time um i'm going with some other girls but they actually went before me so i'm ahead there right now 
it's like sunrise <laughs> um, I'm actually taking an uber to the Trevi so I think the taxi is here so I'm heading Buongiorno I just got to the Trevi <laughs> I mean there are already people here but it's not that crowded Best thing, best decision <laughs> Say hi to my vlog hi. We're living our best life in Rome. We just walked from the Trevi Fountain. Also went to this croissant place across with perfect views. And now at this gelato place. I mean, it's 8 a.m. but I guess we'll have ice cream at 8 a.m. Where's the entrance? Finally got my gelato in Rome. Um, I think this is the passion fruit and strawberry. So so good. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm going to pretend it's not 8:30. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I'm not walking. And I'm and I'm having ice cream. <laughs> Yeah, this is my first gelato. They had already, so I just wanted to get it before we leave Rome. We're about to climb the Spanish steps. <laughs> I think it's over 100 stairs, but we're gonna take our time. Like, there's a song that says, Take it slow. <laughs> That's exactly what I'll be doing and finish my gelato and then I'll just work it off. We're just in Rome living out our food is life. We just got pizza and it's probably 9.30 now. <laughs> and we did so much this morning. But that's the freedom that you have when you can explore on your own. Guys, oh my god. I'm so bad. Like I put my shoes out here to dry as you guys can see when we were out today it was really sunny and stuff so I'm like I don't want my shoes to be smelly because they got wet yesterday so it was drying and then the rain came out of nowhere oh my god I'm so glad I was actually next door um, and I literally run across. I was getting some souvenirs. I run across that street. Oh my god. It's crazy. But yeah. Then back down. I feel like I just defeated the whole purpose, but whatever. I'm actually checked out of the hotel already. Um we're heading to her next location, which is Balona. And yeah, I'll take you guys. I think I'll probably close out this vlog. So this is all I did in Rome. And we're heading to a different city. Guys, if you made it this far in the vlog, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace out.